Hi, Siti. Hello, Mr. Aris. So, how have you been since the last time we met, Siti? I'm having a good time studying in school, Mr. Aris, especially during English lesson. So nice to hear that, Siti. Schooling should be fun. So, what are we going to discuss today, Mr. Aris? Well, today, we're going to take a look at information transfer again, Siti. I will show you more examples of how to transfer information from a text to a given framework. Accurately and appropriately, right? I remember that from the last lesson. Yes, that's the way to do it, Siti. Accurately and appropriately. Then, I will also guide you to write a short paragraph to support the choice made in your answer. Well, I'm ready. Let's go for it. All right, Siti. Let's continue. For this part of the question, the text can be presented in the form of an advertisement, a menu, a poster, a description, a label, a leaflet, or other types of presentations. City, let's look at our question for today. Tell me, what is the question all about? about choosing a holiday package. First, we must look at the information given carefully and note the differences between the three items. Yes, I can see the differences, Mr. Aris. We will have to complete the table by matching the details given. Be careful when writing your answers in the boxes. One, five days, four nights. Two, Phuket Island. Three, 370 ringgit. Four, Sentosa Island. Five, Orchard Road. Six, first two days. Seven, four days, three nights. Eight, three hundred fifty ringgit. Nine, bazaar shop. Ten, nan. All right, Mr. Aris. Very well. Once we have completed that, it's time to write our short comparison. The important tips to note are usage of adjectives and adverbs to describe and support your choice. Tips on answering this question. An adjective is used to describe or modify a noun or pronoun to give more information about the size, shape, color, or age of a person, a place, or a thing. An adverb is used to modify or qualify a verb, an adjective, or another adverb to give more information about an action or the state of the action. Don't forget to pay attention to your tenses too. Your argument states facts. 
So use verbs to express possibility, intention, or ability. Examples of these model verbs are can, could, may, might, must, shall, should, will, and would. Conjunctions too may be used to show contrast between two sentences or two clauses and also to emphasize your choice. Some examples of conjunctions are although, however, in addition, furthermore, and so on. Check for mistakes in spelling, grammar, and punctuation. You will be assessed on your ability to transfer information accurately and to write a comparison. The comparison will be rated as excellent, credit, achievement, or low achievement, depending on the use of language and ability to express ideas. You can use a variety of sentence structures and a wide range of vocabulary to express your ideas. Ideas must be clearly expressed, well presented and linked. Accurate use of spelling and punctuation is essential. It's about choosing a holiday package. When we talk about places, venues and locations, here are some useful ideas to take note. These sentences may be able to help you. For example, It is near my house. I can go there easily. It is more interesting to visit this place because it has many interesting and attractive spots. It is a beautiful place to visit. I have never been to this place before, so I am excited to go. This place is more exciting compared to the others. I'm sure I will enjoy myself there. It has many historical things to see. Now, city, let's write our comparison. I would choose the Thailand Super Safe package because it cost only 385 ringgit per person. In addition, I have never been to Thailand before, so I am excited to go. I find the offer of free breakfast on the first day and the final day very appealing. I love the sea and I love shopping so I am very excited that the places of interest include Phuket Island and Hat Nyai. Phuket Island is well known for its Crystal clear water. It is a beautiful place to visit. So I shall look forward to visiting places there. I'm sure 
I really enjoy myself. Well, City, has today's lesson helped you? Yes, Mr. Aris. I think I know what to write now. I'm glad you learned something useful today. Now, let's recap some of the important points to remember when writing your comparison. Let's recap some of the important points. When writing your comparison, always give reasons why you have selected an item instead of the others. Use adjectives and adverbs to help you to describe and support your choice. Pay attention to your tenses. Use modal verbs and conjunctions in your sentences. Read your comparison after you have completed it and check for mistakes in spelling, grammar and punctuation. Use a variety of sentence structures and a wide range of vocabulary to express your ideas. Well, it's time to go now. Till we meet again, say bye-bye, City. Bye! -bye,